Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and today I'm doing another speed build for the A to Z build challenge. I am almost at the end of this challenge. It's getting pretty difficult now. Um, this is where the challenge part really does come in. Um, as you start to get to the end of the alphabet, you run out of options. And for the letter W, I feel like I say this about every single letter so far, but this one was actually the hardest. Um, there were not that many options for the letter W and it was really, really tough, but I came up with um, Welsh Cottage. So, I mean, that's a pretty broad term. It could be anything. It's basically just a cottage with the word Welsh in front of it. Um, but I did actually do some research on Welsh cottages and I found something that looked a lot like this house on Google Images. And I did do some research on the inside as well. I made it kind of like outdated and old timey, you know what I mean? So um, this is the Welsh cottage. And then after this, it gets even more difficult. Um, letter X, like what am I supposed to do with that? I don't know, I haven't even thought about it. Uh, honestly, I've just been too busy to think about it. But I only have three more builds, X, Y, and Z, as we say in Canada, Z if you're in the States. Um, so that's that's it. And those are gonna be three really difficult ones. Uh, so we'll see kind of what I come up with. Um, the end of this challenge is probably gonna be pretty interesting just because I have no idea what to expect, but I'm really excited. And I think what I'm planning to do after I'm done this challenge is possibly do, um, a save file, which is going to take a very long time, but it's something I've always wanted to do. And I kind of watch other people do it like Simlessy and Little Simsy, and I love their save files so much. And I think it'd be really fun to work on my own. I, like I said, it would take a very long time. And part of that, the most difficult part I think would be um, definitely doing the residential lots. I think that would be really, really tough for me um, because I don't do residential lots very much. I just don't enjoy it all that much. Um, and then I see the ones EA makes and they're so terrible that I, I feel like, I don't know, I just, I don't have any motivation. But what I might do is just make over the current residential lots that we, or not residential, I keep saying residential when I completely mean community lots. That's, that's what I mean. Uh, community lots is the one that I don't like making. Um, so I think that I might just do makeovers for all of those and try to make them better because they're all pretty terrible. Um, that's probably what I'll do for my save file, but I did start doing one uh, when I first started my cha channel and I finished almost all of San Mayashuno, but I loved the apartments I made so much that I still might use those same ones. And I did make a lot of townies as well with interesting stories, like there's the archeologist, there's like the fashion blogger, um, there's the drag queens, like so many interesting Sims that I really would like to keep in the save file. So I think that I'll just, kind of add on to it um, and consider most of the San Maishuno apartments to be done. And then I'll just finish the rest of the community lots maybe and then move on. But I am thinking I'm gonna do it like world by world just to sort of stay in the same theme for quite a while before moving on to the next one. Um, that's sort of my plan, but I don't know. It, it definitely could change. Um, so I am recording, this is my first voiceover that I'm recording since moving into my new house. Um, I think I mentioned it when I was recording. Oh, I can't even remember, honestly. Like, I think the villa was where I was doing my very last uh, voiceover in my house. And um, it was tough because I was really feeling very stressed out that day. I think it was, I recorded that the day I was getting the keys to my house, I'm pretty sure. And that was, yeah, like I said, quite stressful. But um, I had a lot of help from my family and we're moving into our house and we absolutely love it. I cannot believe how fortunate I am to have this house. Like it's a beautiful house and I love it so much. And I even get emotional talking about it because my husband and I both worked so hard to get to this point. My husband especially, cause I mean, he um, he's a welder and he went to school for a long time to do what he does. Well, not a super long time. Like he's not a doctor, but um, he worked really hard to get to where he is. And this was just our biggest dream is to own our own home that we love. And we're finally here and it's really exciting. And it's also the reason that I started my own business as well. Um, I do cake decorating, I make cupcakes and custom cakes, and I work out of like a little shop where I make cakes every day, and it's just really fun and I love it. It's a little stressful sometimes, it's a lot of hours, I'm there in the evenings, I'm there early in the morning, and it just feels like it's finally paying off. We were able to get this wonderful house that we love so much, and so yeah, I'm really excited about that. And I have this new office space set up, um, I, I was able to kind of have my own area before it was in the living room, which is like 
I don't know, everybody hangs out there and it was, it was hard for me to like edit videos and record videos and now I can finally do all of that in my own space. My husband has this joke where he's not allowed to come in here so he'll knock on the door before he comes in my office. Um, but it just finally feels like I have my own space to do this and I'm so, so grateful for that. And I'm hoping that I'm gonna move on to doing some face cam stuff in the future. Um, I mean, of course I have anxieties about that. Um, I feel like everybody does, but I would love to be able to do that um, at some point. I feel like I have to first upgrade like uh, a lot of things. I have to get a, a good face cam. I, I don't have a camera at all and I would need a good one. Um, I need a better recording device. I just feel like I can kind of upgrade all these things now. Um, but it is hard because I find that I'm having less and less time for my videos and it's stressful because I really want to do daily uploads. And um, I know that nobody really cares, like nobody would even notice if I missed a, an upload, but I would, and it just means a lot to me. So I try not to miss uploads, but I hate to say it, in the upcoming weeks there probably will be a few days, maybe even like a full week where there's no videos, which is gonna really suck for me because I love making content. It's so much fun. I don't even care who watches it. Like I'm so grateful that I do have people that watch it and comment and stuff, it makes it all worth it but I just love doing this so much and it's hard for me to, to, to not do it. <laughs> like to have days where there's no videos, it's really difficult for me. So, um, but that is probably gonna happen. My mom is coming to visit. Um, she's actually coming today, uh, but I'm, I'm recording this like two weeks uh, before it's actually coming out. So um, my mom's coming to see my house, which is really exciting because I want her to help me like with like interior decorating and like, I don't know, I, there's a few more things I need for the house and she's really good at that kind of thing. So I'm happy to have that kind of help. My husband's really bad at it. Um, but Wayfair, like is the best thing ever. Like I buy so much from Wayfair. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really loving the house right now. My brother still lives with us. He has his own space in the basement, which is nice. Um, we can still hang out. My brother and I are really close. Um, so we're still able to kind of hang out together, but he has his own space, which is just like so perfect. He has pretty much the whole basement to himself. And then, um, yeah, I don't have to clean up after him. I don't have to do anything <laughs> at all, which is nice. Um, he can worry about it cleaning his own space and I can worry about mine and that is the dream. Um, yeah, so my husband and I, like we, we were looking to buy a house, but not that quickly. And it's happened very suddenly. Like we all of a sudden just felt, uh, thought we were gonna buy a house on the spot and it worked out and it felt like a pipe dream and, yeah, it just, I, I'm so grateful that it happened the way that it did. And then we got a house that's even more amazing than, than what we were planning on getting. We thought we'd be getting like a smaller, um, we'll call it a starter home, cause that's like a Sims term, but we thought we'd be getting more of a starter home and we ended up with like a larger family home and we're so happy for that. We can kind of grow into it. Um, we plan on having kids at some point, so it's got plenty of room for that. And uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm so grateful that I always need to, I need to keep saying it. But anyway, back, to the build. Um, I wanted to make this cottage as cluttered as possible. So the whole um, main level is extremely like outdated and cluttered, um, but kind of in a good way. Like I can see like maybe like an older person living here alone or like an older couple maybe. Um, upstairs there's three bedrooms and a full bathroom. Um, there's no stand up shower just cause I wanted it to have like that sort of older vibe. Um, so yeah, no shower, but the tub, is, I think it's really cute. I never use that bathtub just cause it's it's sort of like older, but I really like that one. Uh, and then I did three bedrooms. Uh, I don't really know which one would be the main bedroom, probably the one that I'm doing right now, I would say. Um, and then two extra bedrooms. One has like two double beds uh, and then there's another guest room or maybe a teen room. You can pretty much just do whatever you want. Uh, lately I've been trying to make the bedrooms pretty generic just because um, I find that most people just update the bedrooms to, way, to the way they want them anyway. I know I do. As soon as I download the house, I usually end up changing the bedrooms to make them fit my Sims a little more. So I never put too much thought into the bedrooms unless I'm making them for a specific Sim. Um, and then here, uh, this purple room. I thought the purple and red worked really well for some reason. Um, so this room's a bit smaller, but I think it's kind of almost like a teen room. That's sort of what I pictured going in there. And then here I put two uh, twi single, twin, twin. You call that a twin bed, I think. Uh, two twin beds here and then like a just, um, wow, I forgot the word desk for a minute there. <laughs> a desk, I think I put in a bookshelf and a dresser. 
Um, so yeah, you could pretty much put anybody in there. Um, I could also picture like twins having that room as, as well. Um, as I was building this house, I pictured like an older couple living here. I mean, they were younger when they bought it. They raised their family here. They had three kids. That's what I pictured. Um, a set of twins, a set of twin boys. Actually, no, that's not what I pictured. A set of twins, a boy and a girl, and then an, an older girl as well. And then uh, all the kids moved out, the parents got older, and then one of them died, and now the other one lives there by themselves. And that's kind of a sad story, but it is what I thought of while I was doing this house. And for some reason, I always do that. I try to like create this little story in my head for who's living there. I think it just helps me add more detail and depth to the build, I think. So that's kind of what I thought for this house. Um, this one is being built in Granite Falls and I don't know why. <laughs> I just thought it kind of suited the area. Um, I put like a little well on the property as well. Um, lots of trees. I did a little garden. There's a garden shed as well at the back of the property. Um, I'm not very good at backyards. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm not that good at it. So it was kind of difficult for me. Um, I did do like a, a little enclosed fence area as well. But yeah, um, that is pretty much it for this speed build. You can download it on the gallery. My, I, uh, wow, I forgot, forgot what the word was. My origin ID is SimQueen1992. If you did enjoy this speed build, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.